are you? Hi, I am <laughs> fine. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is a new organization for me. Please give us some of the background of Roots. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, Roots is, uh, is 51 years old. This is a 51 years in existence. Roots, we just got involved 21 years ago. I am actually with the Breakfast Group, which is a men's organization that uh, it deals with young people. In 19, well, 20, 22 years ago, 23 years ago, Roots came to us, the Breakfast Group, and asked us to take it over because they were getting too old to do it. And that, you know, most of the, the people who started it, uh, started the uh, Roots uh, picnic, were no longer with them. So we talked it over on our board of directors for the breakfast group and decided that we would take this task over. And so we did. And so we, uh, Ernie Dunstan and myself became the chair for the Roots, which means relatives of old timers. Uh, we decided to take the venture on 21 years ago. I think this is the 22nd year. It's the, seventh, it was, it's the 51st anniversary. And it got started. I'll give you a little history on, uh, on, on Roots. It, uh, uh, a, a couple named the Yabros, uh, Arlene and, and Lester Yabro, started uh, the organization. They did it because they were uh, getting together with relatives and friends that they lived close to in the CL Central Area District. And they, they would do that, yeah, four or five times a year. So they finally decided that they would form an uh, organization uh, and with no pay, and would, they would have it annually and at one of the parks. So when it first started, they started in Seward Park. And after that, uh, it moved around to different parks. And, uh, and so for 20, for 30 years, they had these, this, this, these events. Again, they died out. And they had, some, they had to have a replacement, just like I'm getting to be now. And fortunately, that's my granddaughter, Carrington. So she's, gonna, she's the new person who's gonna be taking over her to mother eventually, which is probably probably the next couple of years, they'll be doing the whole thing and I'll be sitting back enjoying the fruits. The main thing is that this is a community event, a black community event. And as you know, the central area is no longer black. When I came here in 70, I was just telling Carrington, I've been, I've been here 77 years. Wow. And I've seen, we came, and we lived on 20th Avenue, a block from Mount Zion Church. Mm -hmm. And when I came, when we came to Seattle, we came from California. And, uh, and when I was a little guy, and went to TT Minor up there on 18th and Union. And, uh, you know, we uh, came here, and the house block, it was actually two blocks. It was about, three black families. And, and I didn't realize during the time that we came that the reason the, the relative, the real estate man brought us into that area, he was trying to break the color line. Mm. So we came in, we was about the third black family in that area. And within a year, it was only about two or three white people left. Yeah, They got out of Dodge. That's when they turned the center area over to the black community yeah. it was hardly any white people left. You know, my first year here, I had tons of white friends, you know, and I went to school with them, and we played together, and, and, and then the, uh, the color of the people changed within, the, within that one year. So we had to adapt to being pretty much all black, and which was, for me, was fine, because yeah. I, I didn't know, I came from a family of, uh, it was nine of us all together, nine kids. And I always, you know, it was always amazing. It was nine kids. I had uh, my mother and dad and my aunt and her husband. 13, 
people in a house with one bathroom. <laughs> Everybody said, how, how, do you, how do you do that? How do you guys manage 13 people with one bathroom? And now I have, I have, one, I have two bedrooms and two bathrooms and just me, <laughs> one person. Oh, well, I'll say this, uh, Paul, it's great to hear that history of roots and, you know, the fact that they said, you know what, there was enough interest for folks to keep it going and for the Breakfast Club to now say, hey, we understand the importance of this amazing organization and this annual celebration. We want to continue that legacy. How has it been since uh, Breakfast Club came in, since you've been a part of it? Uh, tell us about what you've experienced at this annual gathering. Okay, first of all, we're a breakfast group. Yeah. Don't, uh, yeah right, not the club. Not, that's right. Not, not the breakfast club. That's a player. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when we got there, you know, it was eh, pretty diluted. You know, uh, you know the, the, the Roots Picnic, the Roots Committee. Cause it's all volunteer, you know, and we, it's people from the community. So Ernie and I, we went out and got people, you know, to work with us. And so I think the first uh, picnic we put together, I think we had it at Seward Park. And we got uh, different entities from different parts of our, our, our community. We got the churches involved. Uh, we, got, we got the community centers involved. We got the you know the, 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 the high schools and and some of the some of the middle schools. Plus we were we were the breakfast group and we were already uh, doing work with the kids. So we had you know so we got some of the instructors from the schools to get involved. And so we had a, a pretty robust uh, committee, and, and and we did real well. We got uh, at that time we got we got Ezels to buy in. So we had. Uh, <laughs> Uh, chicken, uh, and we also we have a dynamic senior garden. We still maintain the senior garden. If you can't if you can't afford to bring your picnic basket to the to the to the celebration, we furnish. We got a big area strictly for our older uh, black uh, generation people, and so that's been real successful. Got, they can just come and enjoy. And plus, we have all the greatest music around. We get, we know we had a deal with the music uh, uh, union, and they would, you know, and, and plus we knew the guys that was a lot of the musicians that played at work for the, for the union, and so we always had the best of the music and entertainment, you know, available. And that was always a great hit, great hit, you know, and, at, at these picnics. And we had, we had music, and we had food, and we had events, we had, you know, we had chess, we had checkers, we, we had races, we had, you know, it's something for everybody. We even have a helicopter uh, come mm. in and and uh, and fly in and 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 entertain our kids and and people. Cause I had never been that close to a helicopter myself. And so you know, and we had to, we got the law enforcement to get involved, the fire department to get involved. You know, and, and plus we went again to the to the rec centers and make sure that we had the kids, which was important for the future to get involved. Yeah, I mean, because this is something you're talking about, you know, now your granddaughter getting involved and really being able to pass this on to the next generation to continue yes. the legacy. So so much of that is through the exposure they get from participating as a young person, right? Yes, it's the absolutely. coming to the event and being able to understand like, man, this has some great significance and importance in our community. What are some of the things that you really want folks to get when they come to this event? You know, what do you want them to walk away with, Paul? Yeah, and, and basically, you know, togetherness. And again, what bothers me the most is uh, African, African, from Africa community that, you know, that sometimes want to stay separate from us, rather from African Americans. And, and my goal has always been, get those guys to come in and, and get involved with black Americans. Because we're all the same, and, they, and, and, and society look at us the same. I don't know why they, you know, they might think they're a little different, but in the end, we're still from the same mother. And so they gotta, you know, if they can cover, if we can get those guys to get involved with us, we, I, would, I would feel successful. But basically, we have a good time, you know, even without them, and we, you know, and so, you know, what we do, we try to reach out and, and, and maybe touch everybody. You know, some people like food, so we have 
So we have, the, you know, we have access to barbecue pits. Uh, you can bring your own basket. If you're a senior we're fun, uh, and you can't put, put a, a basket together, we'll feed you. But, and we always have the best music, the best entertainment that's available. And we have games for the, for the kids. We have face painting, uh, bouncy, uh, jumping. Jump, uh, uh, you know, now the guy, we, there's so much, so much insurance on those things. Now we, it's hard for us to afford them anymore. And so we have, you know, uh, you know, snakes for the kids, and we have, you know, so, uh, sock races, and uh, you know, just about anything that kids do, we have a, we have a, a person who's involved with the children activities. Plus, we have somebody who's involved with the adult activities too. We have chess and, and different games for them to test their uh, mind and abilities. Plus, we allow people from the community to come in and show their what, their where. We don't sell, per se, but, but if you have something like paintings, clothing, and that kind of stuff, and if you have a business, we let, allow you to set up you know, and exhibit the kind of business you're trying to promote. And, and that's always, uh, you know, and always good. And plus, we want them to be, uh, to be to, we want our people to, to support our, our black businesses, which is very important. You know, uh, right now, you know, they're dying on the vine, and we need, and they need all the support they can get. And then we let, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the all the other uh, agencies, like, the, you know, uh, you know, like people come in from, you know, that need help, you know, like, uh, uh, not Social Security, but people who under underserved, mm -hmm. they're looking for agencies so they can get some help from, where they'll allow them to, uh, to set up booths. And, uh, you know, and then we allow the, uh, the police department, the fire department, the sheriff department to come in and set up booths to, to uh, recruit. We, you know, they come in and do a good job. They love coming, you know, because you know, they, they want the police and the fire department and the other areas, the federal government, to reflect the community that they serve. And one thing we allow them to do is come in and set up and, sh and show our community that they, that they are interested in diversifying their you know, whatever entity they're in. Yeah. So, so we do allow that, and, they, and that's been very successful. Well, this is really interesting, Paul. I love that you were able to lay the foundation, give us some of the history of Roots. Of course, if folks are looking to learn more, do they go to the breakfast group for this? Let, let them know where they find out more information. Look right there and let them know. Well, actually, <laughs> you know, we, we do have a, you know, uh, that's something Carrington could, 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 could speak to. Uh, she knows, she handles that end of the, uh, and she's one of the range for me to come here <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to talk to you. So she can give you how you get in touch with, how do you get involved. Because we, you know, we don't, it, 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 we meet, we meet twice a month now. We, from, from January up to June, we meet once a month. We, we, we do twice a month at the Yesler Library. All right. At uh, two o'clock on Sundays. And, and now, and next this coming Sunday, we'll we'll meet again at, at Yesler Library, oh. and uh, at two o'clock. So if anybody interested in becoming a part of the committee, committee, uh, come, yeah. come at two o'clock on this coming Sunday. Well, thank you so much, Paul Mitchell, for giving us some great history here. And thank you for your dedication to continuing the legacy of Roots. Um, sounds like y'all have a, a, a great time. I can't wait to dive into the details with Carrington. Thanks for being with me today. Sure. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>